इंद्रिया तत्व एब्सोल्यूट नेचर सो एक्चुअली देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन गौर किशोर एंड चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड कृष्णा अंतर कृष्णा बहिर गौरा दर्शित वैभवम कलो संकर्तनाध्यस्म कृष्ण चैतन्य आश्रय सो ऑल दो कृष्णा इज विषय विग्रह एंड चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज ऑल्सो विषय विग्रह बट ही मूड ऑफ एन आश्रय विग्रह द मूड ऑफ आश्रय विग्रह इज वेरी प्रॉमिनेंट सो दैट्स वाई चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ बट विद द मूड अनर्पित चेरिम चिरा करण्यावतीर्णा कलो समर्पयित उन्नत जन सांस भक्ति श्रियम परिपुरट सुंदर द्वितीय कदम संदीपित सदा हृदय कंदरे स्मृतवाश चिनंदन चतन महाप्रभु इज कृष्ण हु हैज टेकन द मूड ऑफ राधाराणी एंड दैट्स वाय चैतन्य महाप्रभु वर्षित चैतन्य महाप्रभु सो श्री कृष्ण एंड श्री गौर किशोर आर नॉट डिफरेंट इन देअर तत्व There is no difference between their tattva. Mm. <clears throat> they are both. Uh, they are both shelters of Madhuri Rasa. Huh? They both are the shelters of Madhuri Rasa. However, there is a slight difference between them because Madhuri Rasa has two prakoshtas chambers. Hmm? Uh, one is the mood of mathurs sweetness and the other is the mood of avatar magnanimity shri krishna's swarup is manifest where madhur is prominent and shri gauranga's form is manifest where avatar is prominent similarly the transcendental vrindavan also has two prakoshtas divisions shri krishna's abode and shri gaurav's abode the nitya siddha and nitya mukta associates who reside in shri krishna's abode are attracted first to madhurya and then to avatarja the nitya siddha and nitya muktas associates who reside in shri gauras abode are blissfully absorbed in avatarja and then madhurja some of them reside in both abodes simultaneously by expansions of the self so while others reside in in one spiritual form in only one abode and not in the other those who only worship the gaura during their period of sadhan only worship gaura when they have perfection while those who only serve shri krishna during their period of sadhan serve shri krishna on achieving perfection however those who worship the forms of both shri krishna and shri gaura during their period of sadhan manifest two forms when they attain perfection and reside in the world simultaneously the truth of the simultaneous oneness and difference of shri gaur and shri krishna is a very confidential secret hmm. when varjanath had heard all these teachings about the state of the jiva who are liberated from maya he could no longer keep his composure brimming with emotion he fell down at the elderly baba ji's lotus feet crying profusely Baba Ji Maash had picked him up and embraced him. It was already quite late in the night. Brajana took leave of Baba Ji Maash and went home, totally engrossed in meditating on Baba Ji's instructions. When Brajana reached home, he took his meal, and while doing so, he warned his grandmother sternly, "Grandmother, if you people want to see me here, stop all this talk about my marriage, and do not keep any sort of contact with Mini Madhu." Hmm. So he is actually a warning uh, that don't keep any contact with a uh, Vani Madhu. Hmm. So um, Brajanath's grandmother was very intelligent. Understanding Brajanath's mood, she decided to postpone any question of marriage. From the kind uh, sentiments that he is displaying, from the kind of sentiments that he is displaying, she thought if his poor to he might live for vrindavan or varanasi let bhagwan decide as he will thus ends the seventh chapter of jiva dharma entitled prameya jiva is free from maya commentary in form of chapter in notes by shishima bhaktant narayan mahaj number 1 there is a saying to make money by counting the waves the expression is as follows in ancient times there was a rich vaishya 
who became famous all over the country as someone who could make money in any circumstances. Some envious people poisoned the ears of the local king and managed to convince him to send the businessman far away where he would have no opportunity to make any money. The king decided to send him to a lonely place near the sea. But this Vaishya, true to his character, sat on the beach counting the waves. Whenever a vessel passed across the sea, he would stop it by waving his arm and then say, you are not allowed. Hmm. You are not allowed hmm, to cross. The king has appointed me to count the waves here and your vessel is disturbing them. He would argue back and forth and only relent when he had extracted a bribe. In this way, he became a rich man again. So now we are beginning chapter 18, Prameya, Veda Tattva. Veni Madhava had a wicked mind. Thus when Vrajanath scorned him, he decided to seek revenge by teaching Vrajanath and the Mayapur Vaishnava as a lesson. He made a plan with some like-minded friends that when Vrajanath returned from Mayapur, they would surround him in a secluded place near Lakshman Hill and give him a sound thrashing. Somehow or other, Vrajanath got wind of all this and consulted with Babaji. They agreed that he would come to Mayapur less frequently and then only during the day and accompanied by a bodyguard. Vrajanath had some tenants in the village amongst whom Harish was expert at stick fighting. One day, Vrajanath called him and made a request. He said, Harish, I'm having a little difficulty these days, but if you help me, I might have a way out. Harish said, Thakur, I can lay down my life for you. I will kill your enemy today if you tell me. Vrajanath replied, Vedi Mahathar is a very wicked man and he means to cause me some trouble. He is creating so much disturbance that I dare not go to the dare not go to visit the Vaishnava in Sri Vas Angar. He has arranged with some of his devious friends to create trouble for me on my way home. Way home. Harish became disturbed when he heard this and he replied, Thakur, as long as there is breath in my body, you need have no fear. It looks as if this stick of mine will soon come to good use against Veni Madhav. Just take me along with you whenever you go to Mahapur and I will handle a hundred opponents by myself. After Rajanath had made this arrangement with Harish, he resumed his visits to Mayapur every second or fourth day, but he could not stay late. Yet he remained dissatisfied within himself when he could not discuss Tattva. After some 10 or 20 days had passed in this way, the wicked Veni Madhav was bitten by a snake and died. When Rajanath heard the news, he wondered, did he meet such a fate because of his envy of the Vaishnavas? Then he concluded his allotted lifespan had finished and so he died. Adhyavavta Shatam Teva Mrityarve Pranayam Dhruva Srimad Bhagavatam 10, Canto 1st, Chapter 38, Verse One may die today or after hundreds of years, but death is sure for every living entity. This is an eternal truth. Now my path to Shiva Sangan in Mayapur is clear. That day Vrajanath reached Shiva Sangan a little after dusk. He offered his obeisances to Raghunath Das Babaji and said, <clears throat> and said, from today I will be able to Come to serve your lotus feet every day. For the obstacle in the form of Vedi Madhav has left this world. At first, the soft hearted Babaji became a little disturbed on hearing about the death of this spiritually unconscious person, Anudita Viveka Jiva. Then he calmed himself and said, Sa karma falahuk puman. Everyone enjoys or suffers the result of his karma. The Jiva belongs to Krishna and he will go wherever Krishna sends him. Anyway, Baba, I hope you have no other anxiety. Rajanath, now only one. I have myself, I missed hearing your nectarian talks all these days. Today I want to hear the remaining instructions on Dashamula. Babaji, I am always available for you. Now, where did we stop last time? 
are there any questions in your heart about our last conversation Brajanath, what is the name of Sri Gaurakishore's pure and invaluable philosophical teachings? The previous Acharyas have established the philosophies of Advaitavad, exclusive monism, Dvaitavad, dualism, Shuddhatvaitavad, purified uh, non dualism. And uh, has Sri Gaurangadev accepted any of these or has he founded a different philosophical school? When you were instructing me about the system of uh, Sampradaya, you said that Sri Gauranga Dev belongs to the Brahma Sampradaya. In this case, should we consider him to be an Acharya of Madhvacharya's Dvaitavad Babaji? Baba, you should hear the eighth sloka of the Shamun. Hare Shakte Sarvam Chitachita Khilam Syat Parinati. Vivartam no satyam shruti miti viruddham parimalam Hare bheda bhedo shruti vihita satvam sumimalam Tatah premna siddhir bhavati taram nitya vishay The entire spiritual and material creation is a transformation of Sri Krishna Shakti. The impersonal philosophy of illusion, Vivartavad, is not true. It is an impurity that has produced, that has been produced by Kali Yuga and is contrary to the teachings of the Vedas. The Vedas support Achinta Veda with Tattva, inconceivable oneness and difference as the pure and absolute doctrine. And one can attain perfect love for the eternal absolute when he accepts this principle. The conclusive teachings of the Upanishads are known as Vedas, and in order to bring them and in order to bring their precise meaning to light. Vyasadeva compiled a book of four chapters called Brahma Sutra or Vedanta Sutra. The Vedanta commands great respect amongst the intellectual class. In principle, Vedanta Sutra is widely accepted as a proper exposition of the truths taught in the Vedas. From this Vedanta Sutra, the different Acharyas extract different conclusions which are just suitable to support their own philosophies. Sri Shankaracharya has used Vedanta Sutra to support his impersonal theory of illusion, which is called Vivartavad. He said that one compromises the very essence of Brahma if one accepts any transformation in Brahma. That the doctrine of transformation, Pranamvad, is therefore completely faulty, and that Vivartavad is the only reasonable philosophy. According to his own needs, Sri Shankaracharya collected some Vedic mantras to support his Vivartavad, which is also known as Mayavad. We can understand from this that Parinamvad has been popular from early times and that Sri Shankar checked its acceptance by establishing Vivartavad, which is a sectarian doctrine. Shivan Madhavacharya was dissatisfied with Vivartavad, so he propounded the doctrine of dualism, Vivartavad, which he also supported with statements from the Vedas to suit his own purpose. Similarly, Ramanujaya taught specialized non-dualism, Vishishta Dvaitavad. Sri Nimbarita Charya taught dualism with monism, Dvaita Dvaitavad. And Sri Vishnu Swami taught purified non-dualism, Shuddha Dvaitavad. Sri Shankaracharya's Mayavad philosophy is opposed to the basic principles of Bhakti. Each of the Vaishnava Acharyas has claimed that his principles are based on Bhakti. Although there are differences between the various philosophies that they taught, Sriman Mahaprabhu accepted all the Vedic conclusions with due respect and gave their essence in his own instructions. Mahaprabhu taught the doctrines of Achinta Veda Vedatva, inconceivable difference and oneness. He remained within the Sampradaya of Sriman Mahadvacharya. But still, Sriman Mahaprabhu only accepted the essence of Madhvacharya's doctrine. Brajanath, what is the doctrine of Parinam Bad? Transformation. Babaji, there are two kinds of Parinam Bad. Brahma Parinam Bad, the doctrine of transformation of Brahma, and Tat Shakti Parinam Bad, the teaching of the transformation of energy. Those who believe in Brahma Parinam Bad, the transformation of Brahma, say that the Chintya, inconceivable, and Nirvishesh. Formless Brahma transforms itself into living beings and the inert material water. 
to support this belief, they quote from the Chandogya Upanishad 6.2.1. Ekam eva dvitiyam. Before the manifestation of this universe, there existed only the absolute truth, a non-dual tattva that exists in truth. According to this Vedic mantra, Brahma is the one and only vastu which we should accept. This theory is also known as non-dualism or Vedic Look in the theory, the word parinam, progressive transformation, is used, but the actual process that is this that it describes is in fact vikar, destruction or deformation. Those who teach transformation of energy, Shakti Paranambad, do not accept any sort of transformation in Brahma. Rather, they say that the inconceivable Shakti or potency of Brahma is transformed. The Jiva Shakti, portion of the potency of Brahma, transforms into the individual spirit Jivas, and the Maya Shakti portion transforms into the material world. According to this theory, there is a parinam transformation, but not of Brahma. Satatvato anyatha buddhir vikare iti udavruta. Sadhanandas Vedanta Sar 59. The word vikar modification means that something appears to be what it is actually not. Hmm. Brahma is accepted as a vastu basic substance from which two separate products appear, namely the individual souls and this material world. The appearance of substances that are different in nature from the original substance is known as vikar modification. What is a vikar? It is just something appearing to be what it is actually not. For example, milk is transformed into yogurt. Although yogurt is milk, it is called yogurt. And this yogurt is the vikar or modification of the original substance, in this case, milk. According to Brahma Parinamba, the material world and the jivas are the vikar of Brahma. Without any doubt, this idea is absolutely impure for the following reasons. Those who put forward this theory accept the existence of only one substance, namely the Nirvishas Brahma. But how can this Brahma be modified into a second substance if nothing else exists apart from it? The theory itself does not allow for modification of Brahma. Accepting the modification of Brahma defies logic, which is why Brahma Parinambad is not reasonable under any circumstances. However, there is no such fault in Shakti Parinambad, because according to this philosophy, Brahma remains unaltered at all times. Bhagwan's inconceivable Shakti that makes the impossible possible, Agatana Ghatana Patiyasi Shakti, has an atomic particle which is transformed at some places as the individual souls and it also has a shadow portion which is transformed in other places into material universes. When Brahma desired, let there be living entities, the Jiva Shakti, part of the superior potency Parashakti, immediately produced innumerable souls. Similarly, when Brahma desired the existence of the material world, the Maya potency, the shadow form of Parashakti at once manifested the unfathomable, inanimate material world. Brahma accepts these changes while remaining free from change itself. One may argue, desiring is itself a transformation. So how can this transformation occur in the desireless Brahma? The answer to this is, you are comparing the desire of Brahma to the desire of the Jiva and calling it a Vikar modification. Now the Jiva is an insignificant Shakti and whenever he desires, that desire comes from contact with another Shakti. For this reason, the desire of the Jiva is called Vikar. However, the desire of Brahma is not in this category. The independent desire of Brahma is part of its intrinsic nature. It is one with the Shakti of Brahma and at the same time different from it. Therefore, the desire of Brahma is the Swarupa of Brahma and there is no place for vikar. When Brahma desires, Shakti becomes active, and only Shakti is transformed. This subtle point is beyond the discriminating power of the Jiva's minute intelligence and can only be understood through the testimony of the Vedas. Now we must consider the Parinam, transformation of Shakti. The analogy of milk changing into yogurt may not be the best example to explain Shakti Parinam Bhat. Material examples do not give a complete understanding of spiritual principles. 
but they can still enlighten us regarding certain specific aspects. The Chintamani jade is a material object that can produce many varieties of jewels, but it is not transformed or deformed itself. It is not transformed or deformed itself in any way. She Bhagwan's creation of this material world should be understood as being something similar to this. As soon as Bhagwan desires his Achinta Shakti, inconceivable potency creates innumerable universes of quadrant planetary systems and worlds where the jivas can live. But he himself remains absolutely unchanged. It should not be understood that this untransformed supreme is Nirvishesh, formless and impersonal. On the contrary, the Supreme is the great and all encompassing substance. Brahma, Brihad was to Brahma. He is eternally Bhagwan and the master of the six appearances. If one accepts him as merely Nirvishesh, one cannot explain his spiritual Shakti. By his Achinta Shakti, he exists simultaneously in both personal and impersonal forms. To suppose that he is only Nirvishesh is to accept only half the truth without full understanding. His relationship with the material world is described in the Vedas using the instrumental Karana case to signify by which, the ablative Apadan case to signify from which, and the locative Adhikaran case to signify in which. It is stated in the Taitri Upanishad. Yatova imani bhutani jayante yena jatani jivanti yat paryan yat prayanti adhi sam vishanti tad vidhi tad vidhi yasva brahma hare krishna. Another moment, Prabhu, just a small break. We will be keep them two minutes and come back. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Hari Bol, Nitai Gaur Premanande Hari Bol. Thank you, Anumant Prabhu. One should know that Brahma is He from whom all living beings are born, by whose power they remain alive, and into whom they enter at the end. He is the one about whom you should inquire. He is Brahma. In this sloka, Yatova Imani, the ablative Apadan case for Ishwar is used. 
when it is said that the living beings are manifested from him yena which is the instrumental karana case is used when it is said that all the sentient creatures live by his power and yat which indicates the locative adhikaran case is used when it is said that all living beings enter into him in the end these three symptoms show that the absolute truth is supreme this is his unique feature that is why bhagwan is always so vishesh possessing form qualities and pastimes shila jiva goswami describes the supreme person in these words ekam eva param tat ुपे through which he is always manifested in four ways number 1 swarupa as his original form number 2 tad rupa vaibhava as his personal splendor including his abode and his eternal associates expansions and avatars number 3 jivas as the individual spirit souls and number 4 pradhana as the material energy these four features are likened to the uh, in interior of the sun planet uh the surface um a likened to the interior of the sun planet the surface of the sun the sun rays emanating from the surface and a remotely situated reflection uh respectively these examples only partially explain the absolute truth um his original form is sachit ananda full of eternity knowledge and bless and his spiritual name abode associates and the entire paraphernalia in his direct service are opulences that are non different from himself swarupa vaibhav the countless nitya mukta and nitya baddha jivas are dependent conscious atoms anuchit pradhan includes maya pradhan and its products are the entire gross and subtle material worlds these four features exist eternally and similarly the oneness of the supreme absolute is also eternal how can these two eternal contradictions exist together the answer is that it seems impossible to the limited intelligence of the jiva and is only possible through bhagwan's inconceivable energy brajanath what is vivartavad baba ji there is some reference to vivarta in the vedas but that is not vivartavan shishankaracharya has interpreted the word vivarta in such a way that vivartavad has come to mean the same as mayavad the scientific meaning of the word vivarta is atatvato anyatha buddhir vivartam iti udavrta sadananda vedanta sar 49 vivarta is the illusion of mistaking one thing for another the jiva is an atomic spiritual substance but when he is bewildered he imagines that the subtle and gross bodies in which he is encased are his are his self this bewilderment is ignorance born of lack of knowledge and it is the only example of vivarta found in the vedas someone may think i am a brahmana ramananda pandey ramnath pandey the son of brahman sanatan pandey another may think i am the sweeper of madhua the son of the sweeper harkhua but really such thoughts are completely illusory the jiva is an atomic spiritual spark and is neither ramnar pande nor the sweeper madhua it only <clears throat> seems to be so because he identifies with the body the illusions of mistaking a rope for a snake and seeing silver in the reflection of a conch shell are similar examples the vedas use various examples to try to conceive the jivas to become free from this vivarta the illusion of identifying oneself with the my body mayavadi rejected the two conclusions of the vedas and established a rather comical way a rather comical theory of vivartavad they say that the idea i am brahma 
uh, they say that the idea I am Brahma is essential understanding, and the idea I am a Jiva is Vivarta, erroneous understanding. The Vedic examples of Vivarta do not contradict Shakti Paranamvat at all, but the theory of Vivartavad that the Mayavadis put forward is simply foolish. The Mayavadis propose various types of Vivartavad, of which three are most common. Number one, the soul is really Brahma, but he became bewildered into thinking himself to be an individual soul. The Jivas are ref reflections of Brahma. Number three, the Jivas and the material world are just the dream of Brahma. All these varieties of Vivartava are false and contrary to Vedic evidence. Prajanath, what is this philosophy called Mayavad? I am unable to understand it, Babaji. Listen carefully. Maya Shakti is the shadow of Surup Shakti. It has no entrance into the spiritual kingdom and it is the controller of the material world. When the Jiva is overpowered by ignorance and illusion, he enters that, enters that material world. Spiritual things have an independent existence and are independently energetic. But Mayavad does not accept this. Instead, the Mayavad theory declares that the individual soul is itself Brahma and only appears to be different from Brahma because of the influence of Maya. This theory states that the Jiva only thinks himself to be an individual entity and that the moment the influence of Maya is removed, he understands that he is Brahma. According to this conception, while under the influence of Maya, the atomic spiritual spark has no independent entity separate from Maya, and therefore the way of liberation for the Jiva is Nirvana or merging in Brahma. Mayavadis do not accept the separate existence of the pure individual soul. Furthermore, they state that Bhagwan is subordinate to Maya and has to take shelter of Maya when he needs to come to this material world. They say this is because Brahma is impersonal and does not have any form, which means that he has to assume a material mic form in order to manifest himself in this world. His Ishwara aspect has a material body. The Uttaras accept material bodies and perform wonderful feats in this material world. In the end, they leave their material body in this world and return to their abode. Mayavadi show a little kindness towards Bhagwan for the accept some differences between the Jiva and the Avatars of the Ishwara. The distinction they make is that the Jiva has to accept a gross body because of his past karma. His karma carries him away, even against his wishes, and he is forced to accept birth, old age, and death. The Mayavadis say that Ishwara's body, designation, name, and qualities are also material, but that he accepts them of his own accord, that whenever he desires, he can reject everything and regain his pure spirituality. He is not forced to accept the reactions resulting from the activities he performs. These are all misconceptions of the Mayavadis. Brajanath, is this Mayavad philosophy found anywhere in the Vedas? Babaji, no. Mayavad cannot be found anywhere in the Vedas. Mayavad is Buddhism. We read in the Padma Puran. Mayavadam Ashashastram Prachannam Bhautam Uchyate Mayavitam Devi Kalau Brahmana Murtina So this is a verse from Uttarkhand. Hmm? Padma Puran. Hmm? Mayavadam Ashashastram Prachannam Bhautam Uchyate Mayavitam Devi Kalau Brahmana Murtina So this particular verse actually pertains to Adi Shankara Chajya. Hmm? Now, Adi Shankara Charja, he was actually um, in answer to a question by Uma Devi. In answer to a question by Uma Devi Parvati, Mahadev explains, Oh Devi, Oh Devi, Mayavad is an impure Shastra, although actually covered. Although actually covered Buddhism, it has gained entry into the religion of the Aryans, disguised as Vedic conclusions. In Kali Yuga, I shall appear in the guise of a Brahmana and preach this Mayavad philosophy. Prabhu, 
why did Mahadev perform such an ugly task when he is the leader of the Devatas and the foremost among the Vaishnavas? Babaji. Sri Mahadev is Bhagavad's Guna Avatar. The supremely merciful Lord saw that the Asuras, taking to the path of bhakti and worshipping him to get fruity results and to fulfill their wicked desires. He then thought, the Asuras are troubling the devotees by polluting the path of devotional service. But the path of bhakti should be freed from this pollution. Thinking thus, he called for Shivji and said, O oh Shambhu, it is not auspicious for this material world if my pure bhakti is taught amongst those who are in the mode of ignorance and whose character is Asuri. You should preach from Shastra and spread Mayabad philosophy in such a way that the Asuras become enamored and I remain concealed from them. Those whose character is Asuri will leave the path of devotional service and take shelter of Mayabad. And this will give my gentle bhaktas the chance to test pure devotional service unhindered. Sri Mahadev, who is the supreme Vaishnava, was at first somewhat reluctant to accept such an arduous task with which Bhagwan had entrusted him. However, considering this to be his order, he therefore preached the Mayavad philosophy. Where is the fault of Sriman Mahadev, the supreme guru in this? The entire universe functions smoothly like a well-oiled machine under the guidance of Bhagwan, who expertly wields his wills in his hand the splendid Sudarshan Chakra for the well-being of all creatures. Only he knows what auspiciousness is hidden in his order, and the duty of the humble servant is simply to obey his order. Knowing this, the pure Vaishnavas never find any fault in Shankaracharya, Shiva's incarnation, who preached Mayavad, listen to the evidence from the Shastra for this. Tam a, tam aradya tatha shambho grahishami varam sada dvaparado yuge bhutva kalaya manushadishu swagamai kalpitai swamcha swagamai kalpitai swamcha janan man vimukhan kuru Padma Puran Uttar Khanda and Narat Pancharatra. We still said of Shambhu, although I am Bhagavan, still I have worshipped different devtas and they distributed the asuras. In this way, I shall worship you as well and receive a benediction. In Kali Yuga, you should incarnate amongst human beings through your partial expansion. You should preach from Shastras like Agama and fabricate a philosophy that will distract the general mass of people away from me and keep me covered. In this way, more and more people will be diverted away from me and my pastimes will become all the more valuable. In Varaha Puran, Bhagavan tells Shiva, Kuru I am creating the kind of illusion moha that will delude the mass of people. O oh, strong arm Rudra, you also create such a deluding Shastra. O oh, mighty arm one, present fact as falsehood and falsehood as fact. Give prominence to your destructive Rudra form and conceal my eternal original form as Bhagwan. Prajanath, is there any Vedic evidence against the Mayavad philosophy? Babaji, all the testimony of the Vedas refute Mayavad philosophy. The Mayavadis have searched all the Vedas and isolated four sentences in their support. They call these four sentences Mahavakyas. The illustrious statements, these four statements are number one. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. All the universe is Brahma. Chandakya Upanishad 3.14.1. Number two. Pragyanam Brahma. The supreme knowledge is Brahma. Aitri Upanishad 1.5.3. Number three, Tattvam Asi Shweta Ketu, O Shweta Ketu, you are that. Chandakya Upanishad 6.8.7. Four, Aham Brahmasmi, 
I am Brahma, Brahma Aranya Kupanishad, 1.4.10. The first Mahavakya teaches that the whole universe consisting of the living beings and non-living matter is Brahma. Nothing exists that is not Brahma. The identity of that Brahma is explained elsewhere. Natasya karyam karanam cha vidyate natas natat samascha bhyadigasya drishyate parasya shakti rividhai vashruyate svabha viki jnana balakriya cha shweta shweta upanishad 6.7 and 8. None of the activities of the Parab Brahma, Paramatma is mundane because none of his senses such as his hands and legs is material. Thus, through the medium of his transcendental body, he performs his pastimes without any material senses. And he is present everywhere at the same time. Therefore, no one is even equal to him. What to speak of being greater than him? The one divine potency of Parameshwar has been described in Shruti in many ways, among which the description of his Jnana Shakti knowledge, his Bala Shakti power, and his Kriya Shakti potency of activity, potency for activity are most important. These are all, these are also called Chit Shakti or Samvish Shakti or Sash Shakti or Sandini Shakti and Ananda Shakti or Ladini Shakti respectively. Brahma and his Shakti are accepted as non-different from each other. In fact, this Shakti is said to be an inherent part of Brahma, which is manifested in different ways. From one point of view, it may be said that nothing is different from Brahma, for the potency and the possessor of potency are non-different. However, when we look at the material world, we can see that the other sense, Brahma and his Shakti are certainly different. Nityo nityanam chetana shetananam eko bhaunam yo vidyati kaman kato upanishad. 2.13 and Shweta Shweta Upanishad 6.10. He is the one supreme eternal being among all eternal beings and the one supreme conscious being among all conscious beings. He alone is fulfilling the desires of everyone. This statement from the Vedas accepts variegatedness within the eternality, within the eternally existing substance. First two, Brahma. It separates the Shakti, potency from Shakti Man, the possessor of the potency. And then it considers his jnana, knowledge, bala, power, and kriya activities. Now let us consider the second Mahavakya, Pragyanam Brahma. The supreme knowledge is Brahma, Aitari Upanishad 1.5.3. Here it is said that Brahma and consciousness are identical. The word Pragyanam, which in this sentence is said to be one with Brahma, is also used in Bharat Aranyaka Upanishad 4.4.21 where it is used to mean prema bhakti tame vadhiro vidnyaya pradnya pradnyamam kurvita brahmana when a steady and sober person attains knowledge of brahma he worships him with genuine loving feelings jnana swarupa prema bhakti the third mahavakya is tat tvam asi shweta ketu a shweta ketu where that and the Upanishad 6.8.7. This shloka gives instruction on oneness with Brahma, which is more elaborately described in Vrad Aranyaka Upanishad 3.8.10 as follows Yova etat aksharam gargi aviditvat asmat lokat praiti sakrupanaha. Those who live this material world without understanding eternal Vishnu are Krupanaha, extremely miserly or degraded. Whereas those who live this material world in knowledge of that supreme eternal are actually Brahmanas, knowers of Brahma. The words Tattam Asi therefore mean he who gains true knowledge eventually attains devotional service to Parabrahma and he is to be known as a Brahmana. The fourth Mahavakya is Aham Brahma I am Brahma. Brother Aranyak Upanishad 1.4.10 If the Vidya that is established in this Vakya does not become Bhakti in the end, then it is thoroughly condemned in Sri Upanishad which says Ah, 
अन्नम तमा प्रवीशंति ये अविद्या मुपासते ततो हुय इवते तमोय यौ विद्यायां रतः दोज हु आर सिचुएटेड इन इग्नोरेंस एंटर डीप डार्कनेस एंड दोज हु आर इन नॉलेज एंटर इन डीपर डार्कनेस स्टिल दिस मंत्र मींस दैट दोज हु एम्ब्रेस इग्नोरेंस and do not know the spiritual nature of the soul enter the darkest regions of ignorance however the destination of those who reject ignorance but to believe in the jiva that the jiva is brahma and not a spiritual atom is far worse baba the vedas have no shore line and are so unsurpassed their precise meaning can only be understood by studying each and every shloka of the upanishad separately and by deriving the meaning from all of them combined if one singles out a particular sentence he may always be diverted by some in- misinterpretation by some misinterpretation shri jitendra mahaprabhu therefore investigated all the vedas thoroughly and then preached that the individual spirit souls and the material world are simultaneously and inconceivably one with shri hari and different from him bhajanat I understand that the Vedas established the teaching of Achinta Veda with Tattva. Will you please explain this more clearly with proofs from the Vedas themselves, Baba Ji? Here are some of the many passages that describe the oneness aspect of Veda Tattva or Veda with Tattva. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma Chandogya Upanishad 3.14.1. Everything in this world is certainly Brahma. Atmai Vedam Sarvamiti Chandogya Upanishad 7.52.2. everything that is visible is spirit atma sat eva samvedam agra asit ekam eva dvitiyam chandika upanishad 6.2.1 oh gentle one this world it initially existed in a non dual spiritual form and before the manifestation of this universe the supreme spirit was just a non dual substance evam sat evo bhagavan varenyo yoni swabhavan मंत्रोर्ट ओम ब्रह्मविद आत्मोति परम तत्र उपनिषद 2.1 वन हु अंडरस्टैंड्स ब्रह्म अटेंस द पर तत्व वन हु अंडरस्टैंड ब्रह्म अटेंस द पर ब्रह्म महान्तम विभम आत्मानम मत्वा धीरो न शोचति कट उपनिषद 1.2.22 अ सुपर इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन डज नॉट लैमेंट इवन ऑन सीइंग अ सोल कंफाइंड इन अ मटेरियल बॉडी बिकॉज़ ही नोस दैट द सोल इज अ ग्रेट एंड soul is great and present everywhere satyam gyanam anantam brahma yo veda nihitam from anuchera tetri tetriya brahmananda valli brahma is truth knowledge and eternity personified that brahma is situated in the spiritual sky parabhyoma and is also present in the depth of all living entities hearts one knows this attain siddhi through his relationship with that indwelling super soul antaryami दोमनिशंत ब्रह्मा यस्मात परम न परम अस्ति किंचित श्वेतशतरूपनिषद 3.9 देयर इज नो ट्रुथ सुपीरियर टू दैट सुप्रीम पर्सन ही स्मॉलर देन द स्मॉलेस्ट एंड द ग्रेटर देन द ग्रेटेस्ट ही स्टैंड्स अलोन इमोवेबल लाइक अ ट्री इन हिज सेल्फ इफल्जेंट अबोर्ड दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स रेस्ट विद इन दैट वन सुप्रीम पर्सन प्रधान क्षेत्रज्ञ पतिर्गुणेशा Shweta Shabda Upanishad 6.16. The Prab Brahma is the Lord of the unmanifested material nature, Pradhan, the master of that Paramatma who knows all the individual living and in, living entities, and the Ishwar of the three modes of material nature. He himself is himself transcended to the modes of material nature. The Seva Atma Vibhunte Tanam Swam Katha Upanishad 2.23. He reveals his body only to those people in a very particular way. Tam ahur agram purusham mahantam shweta shweta upanishad 3.19. Those who know the absolute truth 
chant his glories, knowing him to be Mahan, Adi Purusha, the great personality and the cause of all causes. Yatha tatha, yatha tatha tyo arthan, Vedadat Ishopadigat, 8 verse. By his inconceivable potency, he maintains the separate identities of all the eternal elements along with their particular attributes. Naitat Ashakam Vidnyatum Yat Eva Yaksham Iti Keno Pansi 3.6. Agnidev, the Devata of Fire, said to the assembled Devatas, I cannot fully comprehend the identity of this Aksha. Asadva Idam Agrahasi Tetri Upanishad 2.7.1. In the beginning of this universe was just an unmanifested form of Brahma. This unmanifest became manifest in the form of Brahma. That Brahma manifested himself in male form. For this reason, that male form is known as the creator. Nityo Nityanam Nata Upanishad 2.13 and Shweta Shweta Upanishad 6.13. Who is the supreme eternal being among all the eternal beings? Sarvami Etad Brahmayam Atma Brahma Yoyam Atma Chatush Pat Munda Kumanishat 2. All this is a manifestation of the inferior potential of Brahma. The spiritual form of Krishna is none other than the Parab Brahma. By its inconceivable potency, he eternally manifests himself in four nectarian forms, even though he is one. I am Atma Sarvesham Bhutanam Madhu. Brother Aranya Kumanishat 2.5.14. The Vedas speak about Krishna in an indirect way by describing his attributes. And here they say that among all living beings, he is only it is only Krishna himself who is sweet like nectar. So we'll stop our Jaiva Dharma class today here at page number 421. And now we'll begin the Srimad Bhagavatam class, a small Bhagavatam class here as we are reading. Uh, but I want uh, Anand Prabhu to do a small kirtan. I'll return it to him. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Govinda Jai Jai, Gopala Jai Jai, Radha Ramana Hari, Govinda Jai Jai, Govinda Jai Jai, Gopala Jai Jai, Radha Ramana Hari, Govinda Jai Jai, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Nitai Gauranga, Nitai
Gitai Gauranga, Gitai Gauranga, Gora Hari. Gora, Gora, Gora Hari. Jai Sachinanda, Gora Hari. Hari Krishna. Sarvatham Asmadi Guru Pad Padma Nitila Prashta Jagat Guru. Shishimad Bhakti Vidanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ji Ke Avay Charnara Vindu Me Ananta Kodi Dandam Tana Marpani Kartotra Dandi Swami Shishimad Bhakti Vidanta Dandi Maharaj Nam Nishta Santa Shri Aniruddhas Prabhu Ji and all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas Dota Sweet of our Mahamali Blessings. So um, we are discussing now Shrimad uh, Bhagavatam. So Shrimad Bhagavatam is um, you also have to keep a track of now what chapter we are reading so um yes you can create a separate maybe whatsapp group for shrimad bhagavatam classes recordings also which will be hindi and english combined together so here um <clears throat> Now he is Chintu Keval Advaitya Advaita Vadi Masa Kishini Bi Bhagavat Kritika Nihiliki. But among Keval Advaita Vadi, Keval Advaita Vadi means there are actually pure, pure monist. Eh? They actually, those are monist, impersonalist, they have not written any commentary on Shrimad Bhagavatam. Although Sri Shankaracharya wrote commentary on Bhagavad Gita and also Vedanta Sutra, uh, his Sharik Bhashya and Vedanta Sutra is very popular. He also wrote commentary on Bhagavad Gita, but he hesitated to write commentary on Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavatam is extremely high class book about bhakti. So Shankaracharya also hesitated. He said, how I can distort the meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam? Ve keval kapatta purva kahete ki Bhagavat mein keval advaiti ki katha hai. Param to hum to Bhagavat mein kahe bhi keval advaiti ki nahi dekhte. Many people that tell that, oh, there is monism in Bhagavatam. But um, we don't accept that there is monism in Bhagavatam. Bhagavat Sri Sikura Hajar Yajan Dur Rakar Kakoi Vekti Bhagavat Patali Kya Jan Sakta. Yes, Srila Gurudev is telling that if you are staying millions and millions of miles away from Srimad Bhagavatam, then can you write the nature of Bhagavatam? It is not at all possible to write about the nature of Srimad Bhagavatam by being millions of miles away from Bhagavatam. यह कभी भी संभव पर नहीं अनेक लोग कहते हैं कि मदर सरस्वती भागवत के पक्ष में है किंतु ऐसा नहीं है वह अद्वैतवादी है सो एक्चुअली सी दैट मधुसूदन सरस्वती पाद हु वाज एक्चुअली वेरी लर्नेड पर्सन ही वाज नेवन मधुसूदन वाचस्पति मेनी पीपल से दैट ही इज इन द फेवर ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम बट एक्चुअली ही वाज अ स्टॉंच अद्वैतवादी ही एक्चुअली रोट वन दैट वर्स मंशी विभूषित करा नवनी रदावाद I don't know the truth higher than Sri Krishna, who is playing beautiful flute, wears a yellow garment around his head, whose eyes are like lotus flowers. He has written a very wonderful verse, Madhusan Saraswati or Madhusan Vajaswati Pad, but he is actually a staunch Advaita Vadi. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur called him a jackal. Jackal with uh, in the skin of a sheep. Huh? So, jackal will cover itself with the sheep skin. Then sheep made mistake the jackal to be sheep, but actually jackal is a jackal. Is not at all a sheep. Agar bhakta or putana adi asura ne bhi apna pariche Shri Krishna ke pakshe logo mein diya tha. You see that there was a demon called Adhasur. Adhasur was actually a serpent, and he appeared in front of Krishna and his class uh, and his playmates means in front of his um, sakhas as a gigantic serpent appeared like a playground where the sakhas can play. Bakasur was a crane demon who opened his beaks and as if inviting Krishna to enter his mouth. Putana appeared like Lakshmi Devi. Hmm. Even Yashoda and Rohini thought that maybe Putana is like Lakshmi Devi coming to meet her husband. Hmm. And she actually told Yashoda, you don't know how to take care of such a small baby. I'll show you how to take care of a small baby. She disguised like a mother and then she tried to breastfeed Krishna in order to kill Krishna. Shri Krishna ne 
मथुरा मंडल में अगबक आदि अठारह असुरों का वध किया था इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मथुरा नियर दिल्ली श्री कृष्ण किल्ड एटीन डीमंस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम पुतना पुतना देन तृणावर्त शकटासुर अगासुर बकासुर धेनुकासुर सो मेनी ऑफ देम श्री कृष्ण को ध्वंस करना ही असुर की प्रधान चेष्टा है सो व्हाट इज द मेन एंड प्रोमिनेंट एक्टिविटी ऑफ द नॉन ऑफ द डीमेंस दे सिंपली वांट टू किल कृष्णा दे डोंट वांट टू गेट यू वांट टू गेट रिड ऑफ कृष्णा किंतु श्री कृष्ण उन सब चेष्टाओं को व्यर्थ कर देते बट श्री कृष्ण इज सो स्मार्ट सो इंटेलिजेंट दैट व्हाट ही डज ही सिंपली मेक्स ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द डीमंस फ्यूटाइल नो एक्टिविटी ऑफ द डीमन विल वर्क इन फ्रंट ऑफ कृष्णा so uh, krishna will diffuse uh, will uh, will uh, stop all the endeavors yadyapi geeta vaishnava ka pujya granth hai kintu panchayat ya khad ke logon ne use apni pradhan pujya vastu kah kar anek prakar ki tika tipanni aadi ka rachana karke vaishnava dharma ke saral vishwas ke prati akraman kiya hai actually geeta is the worshipable book for vaishnavas not just vaishnavas for everyone geeta is the topmost scripture for the hindus and the believers in the faith of sanatan dharma and especially vaishnavas revere the gita uh, gita is the sarva upanishad gavo dugdha goparanna partho vatsa sudir bhokta dugdham gita amritam maha gita sugita kartavya kimanya shastra vistra ya swayam padmanabh samukha padmadvin sutta gita is so great it is the essence of all upanishads but then there are some impersonalist who belong to the panchayat akhada Uh, they say that this book is also worshipable for us. This is the book of topmost worship for us, and there are so many commentaries. These members of Panchayat Yakhada that they completely camouflage, completely covered, obscured the meaning of Bhagavad Gita. So what happened? They simply attacked the simple, straightforward uh, uh, faith of the Vaishnava religion by writing false commentaries on Bhagavad Gita. Mm. सो so, भागवत को भी इसी प्रकार अपना आकर अपना बनाने जाकर उन्होंने विपरीत कथा का प्रचार किया सो पीपल इम्पर्सनलिस्ट मेंबर्स ऑफ पंचायत अखाड़ा दे रोट कमेंट्रीज ऑन भागवतम एंड दे प्रोपेगेटेड द फॉल्स टीचिंग्स जैसा भी हो सभी के लिए एकमात्र भागवत ग्रंथ ही आदत है वॉट एवर में बी द केस द बुक ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम इज इंडीड वर्दी ऑफ स्टडी फॉर ऑल द वैष्णवास सोने के बने सिंहासन पर भागवत को रखकर भाद्रपद मास की पूर्णिमा में श्रीमद भागवत वितरण का महात्म भी शास्त्रों में किर्द हुआ है तो स्क्रिप्चर्स डिस्क्राइब हाउ टू डोनेट श्रीमद भागवतम हाउ टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट श्रीमद भागवतम स्क्रिप्चर्स टेल एस दैट यू शुड मेक अ नाइस थ्रोन फ्रॉम गोल्ड गोल्ड इज द मोस्ट प्रेशियस मेटल एंड Place Bhagavatam on the golden throne in the month of Bhadrapad, the month in which Krishna took birth, and on the day of full moon, Purnima, they should we should distribute Shrimad Bhagavatam uh, to the qualified recipient uh, or those who want to read Bhagavatam. Uh, this is how the Bhagavatam should be given in charity. Shrimad Mahaprabhu Dwara, Shrimad Bhagavat ki raksha, and then you will see that Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also protected Shrimad Bhagavatam. श्री चेतन देव के आविर्भाव के पहले भागवत की कथा को लोगों से आवृत करने के लिए अनेक विचार प्रबल रूप से प्रचलित थे बिफोर श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु अपियर देर वेर अटेम्प्ट्स वेर मेड टू हाइड दैस्टम्स ऑफ भागवतम फ्रॉम द पीपल्स विजन सो देर वेर सो मेनी रॉन्ग कमेंट्रीज ऑन भागवतम वेर प्रोपोगेटेड इन द नेम ऑफ ऑथेंटिक कमेंट्रीज देवर Propagating false commentaries on Shri Bhagavatam. जो चेतन के विलास को जड़ विलास में बदल कर भागवत के साथ आत्मीयता दिखाने जाते हैं, जो दुष्चेष्टाओं से भागवत को दर्शित करने में प्रलुप्त होते हैं, चेतन देव ने उन लोगों से ही भागवत की रक्षा की। There are some people, although Bhagwan's pastimes are completely spiritual in nature, but they want to portray. That these spiritual pastimes of Bhagwan are actually material pastimes. Hmm. So, um, and they try to, uh, they want to show that these pastimes, which are mentioned, of, um, which are mentioned in Bhagavatam, actually all these pastimes are completely spiritual. 
but they want to show that these pastimes are actually material in nature. Mm. This is the nature of the, uh, you know, uh, very naughty people. Mm. So, um, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu protected uh, Srimad Bhagavatam from the clutches of such people who want to show the spiritual pastimes of Bhagavatam to be material in nature. जब जगत में इस प्रकार के अन्याय पूर्ण विचार प्रवर्तित हुए थे उस समय श्री चैतन्य देव ने मनुष्यों के कल्याण के लिए श्री कृष्ण पाद पद्म की क्या महिमा है यह बतला दिया था सच रॉन्ग ओपिनियंस वर बीइंग प्रोपगेटेड इन द वर्ल्ड दैट टाइम चैतन्य महाप्रभु डिजायरिंग द ऑस्पिशियसनेस ऑफ द एंटायर मैनकाइंड ही एक्सप्लेन टू द होल वर्ल्ड व्हाट आर द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री कृष्ण it was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who narrated to the whole world what are the glories of the Lord of, uh, Chaitanya Ma of Sri Krishna. Huh? So, without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no one would have understood the real glories of Srimad Bhagavatam and the real glories of the Lotus Feet of Sri Krishna. Kintu Hamara Aisa Durbhagya hai ki hame in Sri Krishna ki katha mein ruchi nahi hai. Actually, our greatest misfortune, Shri Prabhupada is telling, is that we have no taste, no relish for the pastimes of Sri Krishna. So actually, when the Sri Krishna's narrations begin, we fall asleep. We start yawning. So Chaitanya Dev ne jab jagat ke dukh ko jana, unke parap priya mein shi sanatun dhuk ho, jiwa ko swami adhi jab jagat ke dukh mein dukhi hoi, tab unhoi bhagwat ko kray vikray ki vastu banane mein baada di. Actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understood that what is the real distress of the world. Ah. The real distress of the world is Unarapi Janam, Unarapi Maranam, Unarapi Janani Jatarashayanam, Bhajagovindam, 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 Uramate. Santrapte sannihita kale nahi nahi rakshati du prim karani. Mahabharata understood that the whole world is suffering from repeated birth and repeated death, and being locked up in the womb of the mother for nine months. So he thought, how to give rid of this repeated birth and death, this adhivautik, adhyatmik, adhivautik klesh. And also, Mahaprabhu had six commanders in chief, uh, Rupa Goswami, Sanadana Goswami, Jiva Goswami. And they also, we can see, the sadhus have no distress of their own. They are distressed by seeing the distress of other living entities. Um, so then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his dear son, six Goswamis, they said that this Bhagavatam is not the object of barter. Mm. It is not some transactional object. That you can sell Bhagavatam. Oh, uh, how much uh, money will we charge for um, speaking Bhagavatam seven days in our town? I will charge uh, 10 lakh rupees, 20 lakh rupees. And then five musicians can come to me every day. One musician should be given 11,000 rupees like this. Uh, like this, then total expense of uh, Bhagavatam will be 10 lakh rupees or 20 lakh rupees or 50 lakh rupees or 1 crore rupees. Uh, this is... Uh, what was going on? And then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami told, No, Bhagavatam is not something to be sold. Bhagavatam should be distributed free of charge without any adulteration. Shri Goswami didn't charge any money from Parishit Maharaj. Shri Goswami didn't, didn't require any money. Why? Why? What, what service we can do to Shri Goswami? What service really can we do? If you want to offer him nice dhoti, he doesn't wear dhoti at all. And if you want to offer him palatable foodstuffs, he doesn't eat at all. Or drinks, he's not interested in them. Mm. Can you offer him any big palatable house? He doesn't want it because he's living under in the forest, in the trees. Understand? So we cannot serve Shri Goswami or Rupa Goswami. What service we can do to Rupa Goswami? Tell me. The Guru is asking, what service we can do to Rupa Goswami? Mm. All we can do is maybe wash his lotus feet and just drink that water. That's all we can do. But if we drink, wash the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami and drink that water, uh, then we will benefit. What benefit Rupa Goswami will receive? What is Rupa Goswami doing? He is maintaining a register at the gate of the Kunja that this particular girl wants to serve Radharani. So we will 
write the name of that girl in the register and tell Radharani. Radharani will ask, who is this new girl? This is your maid servant. All right, Rupa Manjir is, uh, is recommending, accepted. Even if he doesn't tell Radharani that new this girl has come, and he on his own accord writes the name of that girl in the register, Radharani is never going to resist because she is completely under the control of this particular Rupa Manjir or Rupa Goswami. Understand? So, what service we can do to Shivdev Goswami and Rupa Goswami? So, they, the Sis Goswami and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu completely refuted the idea that Bhagavatam is something, an object of sell or purchase. That someone can sell Bhagavatam and someone can purchase Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam is not an object of barter deal. Unone Bhagavat ko Karidas, Mark, Shriharsha, Bharavi, Bhatruari, Adhidwara, Likhiti, Anyan, Nekavya, Purana, which is Ekmanis and Shitkiya. Yes, we know that there was there were great poets in India like Kalidas. Hmm? Kalidas was actually uh, apparently he was not very educated and dumb. He was not learned at all. But by the mercy of Kali, the goddess of Durga, he became very learned. He wrote very wonderful poetry called Megadut. Huh? Maga Kavi is also very famous. Bharatura is very famous. Huh? But there, Bharaturari has written Shungar, Shatak, Vairagya, Shatak. They are exalted poets. But Bhagavatam is not like the poetry of Kalidas, Mahakavi Kalidas. Bhagavatam is nothing but Krishna himself. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Dwara Aswadir, Shri Mat Bhagavat Ke Anugat Granthavali Pada Bhagavat Ke Prati Nishtha. Shri Chaitanya Devane Kavi Jaidev Ke Madhura Komal Kanta Padavali Ka Adar Kiya. So you, you see that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu not only accepted Srimad Bhagavatam, but he also accepted and respected all the books that are based on the teachings of Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, means that are in guidance of Srimad Bhagavatam. If any literature is written that is completely authentic based on the basis of Srimad Bhagavatam, then Mahaprabhu accepts that, that literature to be authentic. Now here Srila Prabhupada is giving an example of Kavi Jaydev Goswami, hmm, Jaydev Goswami was born in, uh, 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 you know, he was born in uh, Kendu Bilbagram, uh, in West Bengal. Uh, he was married to Padmavati, uh, uh, but he was recipient of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy and Lord Jagannath's mercy. And by the mercy of Lord Sri Krishna, he wrote wonderful pastimes of Radha Krishna. Uh, and that book which he wrote is actually Gita Govinda. Yadi Hari Smarane Sarasam Mana Yadi Vilasa Kalasu Kutuhalam Tada Shrunu Jayade Vasaraswati Madhurakan Tapadavalim. He's telling that if you want to hear and meditate on Krishna's sweet pastimes, you should please hear, read this book, Gita Govinda. So, this Gita Govinda is a wonderful book. Bacha Pallaveti Uma Patidhara Sandarva Shuddhim Giram Jani Te Jai Deva Eva Sharada Shragyo Durhadrute Shrungaro Tarasat Pramera Chanair Acharya Govardhana Spardi Kobinashutu Dui Kavikshma Pati Jadya Goswami said that in the court of King Lakshman Sen there are many poets but Jaitanya Goswami's poetry is full of transcendental mellows. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu released Jaitanya Goswami's poetry in Gandhira. So this Jaitanya Goswami's poetry is also based on Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavatam narrates the ten incarnations of Sri Krishna. And Jaitanya Goswami has written Dashavata Stotra. Pralaya payodhi jale dhutavana sivedam. Vita Vahita Charitra Makedam Keshavadrita Mina Sharira Jay Jagadi Shahare Jay Jagadi Shahare Jay Jagadi Shahare Hare Second incarnation Bhagavan is carrying the entire Mandar mountain on his back, and as the churning of the milk is going on. Vasuki has become made into churning rope, rope for churning this Mandar mountain. And Mandar mountain is scratching the back of the tortoise, Bhagwan's tortoise incarnation, and tortoise fell asleep. And due to the inhalation and exhalation of this sleeping tortoise, even today, due to that sanskar, due to that impression, 
the waves of the ocean are coming, going back and forth. Hmm? So, Kshiti liha vi pula tare tishthati tava prishthe dharani dharana kina chakra varishthe kesha vadvita kurma sarira jaya jagadisha hare jaya jagadisha hare swami jaya jagadisha hare so jaya jagadisha is poetry it's certainly based on Bhagavatam because Bhagavatam also describes Bhagavan's daughter's incarnations. Huh? So Mahaprabhu respected any books which are based on Srimad Bhagavatam. Anek lok kavi jayadev ki katha ko samaj nahi paane ki karan unka adar nahi kar paaye. A lot of people they couldn't understand what Jaydev Goswami is writing. Hmm. But Mahaprabhu honored Jaydev Goswami very much. Chandida sa vidyapati raira nataka giti Karnamruta Shri Gita Govinda Swarupa Ramananda Swane Mahaprabhu Ratri Dine Gaya Shune Parama Anande Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrut Madda Lila 2.77 Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to be in the company of Shri Swarup Dhamodar and Shri Raya Ramananda Who is Swarup Dhamodar? Incarnation of Lalita Saki Raya Ramanda, the incarnation of Vishaka Saki. And day and night, Mahaprabhu used to hear the sweet poetry of Chandidas and Vidyapati. And Sri Raya Ramananda also wrote one very wonderful drama called Jagannath Vallabh Natak. Huh? Jagannath Vallabh Natak. What is Jagannath Vallabh Natak? In that, he has described sweet pastimes of Radha Krishna. He has written a very sweet poetry. Huh? One of the bhajans, the Gurudev has included in Gaudi Agiti Kucha Kalayati Nayanam Dishi Dishi Balita Pankha Jami Mamridu Maruta Chalitam Vinidadati Mridu Mantara Padam Rachayati Kunjaram Gati Manu Vadam Kalayati Nayanam Dishi Dishi Valitam Pankajami Vamridu Maruta Chalitam. This actually, this particular song from Jagannath Vallabh Nathal describes Abhisar of Radharani. Abhisar means Rondavu. Uh, Radharani is going to meet the Krishna. So, this is based on Bhagavatam. There is Krishna Karana Amrita, which is like nectar for Krishna's ears, the composition of Vilongar Thakur hmm. and then Gita Govinda. Huh? So all these five books, Mahaprabhu always used to sing, always to listen, and used to relish the so much nectar by through these five books. In Pancho Granthor Giti ne Gaura Sundar ki Param Pratika Vidan ki aaye, yehi Bhagavad Sampradaya ki Paripati. And also, Krishna Karana Amrita, the first verse, what does it say? Huh? Shinta Manir Jayati Soma Girir Gurum Me Shiksha Guru Shiva Bhagavan Shiki Pincha Mauli Yad Pada Kalpata Rupallava Shekhareshu Leela Swayam Varasam Lavate Jayashti The first verse of Krishna Karnamra says the sweet nature of Sri Krishna as the Shiksha Guru of the whole world and rather any ordinary serving the Lord of Sri Krishna. Actually, we may want to see Krishna serving the Lord of Sri Krishna but Bilumal Thakur is saying that rather than he is serving the Lord of Sri Krishna because he is Krishna Paksha Gopi. Gopi is also different types. Some Gopis are in the favor of Krishna, some are in the favor of Radha, and some are equal to both. Hmm. So either way, but this book, Gita Govinda and Krishna Karana Amrut, is certainly based on Bhagavad philosophy. So therefore, these five books and these songs in these five books used to give so much happiness to Mahaprabhu's heart and used to release these songs. From uh, Krishna Karanamrut. Taruna Aruna Karuna Maya Vipula Yatanayanam Kamali Kamala Puchakala Si Hara Vipuli Kruta Pulakam Murali Ravatara Li Kruta Muni Mana Sanalinam Mamakela to Mada Cheta Si Madura Dharam Rutam. So he Bhagavad Sampradaki Paripati. This is the means of Srimad Bhagavatam. Sadhar and Lok Arthoparjan Unne Sanchi Adikile Bhagavad Pate. 
ियर Bhagavatam, then we'll get Punya, and which will take us to the heavenly planets. Or oh, that is also okay. But some people, ordinary people, they recite Bhagavatam because it creates gives tremendous spiritual merit, hmm. and also it brings wealth. Also, that's why Bhagavat part ko Markandeya Saptashati part part me sei ek samajte. Hmm. There is one book called Saptashati, Durga Saptashati, hmm, which is compiled by great sage Markandeya Rishi, glorifying Durga. जनरली नवरात्र देवी नवरात्र दे सिंग दिस सप्तशति रूपम देहि जयम देहि यशो देहि द्विशो जय या देवी सर्वभूतेषु मातृरूपेण संस्थिता नमस्तस्य 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 नमो नमः लाइक दिस दे ग्लोरीफाई दुर्गा ओ यू आर सिचुएटेड इन एवरीवन्स हार्ट एज मदर सो दे रिसाइड दिस सप्तशति एज अ बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस सप्तशति पीपल गेट ट्रिमेंडस वेल्थ दे बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम द Uh, ghost uh, influence and all, ah, uh? but actually Bhagavatam recitation is not to be equated with Durga Saptashati, Markandeya Saptashati, ah, uh? not like that. Ah, uh? Bhagavatam is for getting transcendental love of Sri Krishna. There was actually one particular great devotee by the name of Guna Raj Khan. Ah, uh? he was not Muslim but a Hindu. He belonged to one village called Kulina. Ah, uh? and in that village, he read. Um, He wrote a small Bengali uh, commentary on Shrimad Bhagavatam's ten canto. Hmm? He said, actually, said people cannot understand Sanskrit, so let me write some Bengali commentary on, uh, in a very simple poetic meter in Bengali language about ten canto Shrimad Bhagavatam, and he named that particular book Sri Krishna Vijay. In that book, he wrote, hmm, what he wrote. Nanda Nanda Na Krishna Mora Prana Na Tho Nanda Nanda Na Krishna Mora Prana Na Tho. Now he is writing commentary on that. In that he wrote that the son of Nanda Maras Krishna is my very life and soul. Yeah. When Mahaprabhu heard this, when he heard this poetry of Gunaraj Khan, oh, he was so ecstatic, so happy. And then he said in Bengali. वाक्य बिकाज खान रोट इन कृष्ण विजय बुक दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट दैट नंद नंदन श्री कृष्ण इज माई वेरी लाइफ आई एम सोल्ड एट द हैंड्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिवोटी नॉट ओनली दैट डिवोटी गुणराज खान बट आई एम इंडेटेड टू हिज डिसेंडेंट्स वो आर नॉट टेकन बर्थ यट मीन्स आई विल बी वेरी फेवरेबल टू हिज सन His grandson, great grandson, great great grandson. Anyone who ever has any connection with Gunaraj Khan in his family lineage, I will be sold at their hands, completely sold at them. I'll be always happy and pleased with them because they have taken birth in the family of Gunaraj Khan. Because just because Gunaraj Khan wrote this statement, that none of them should touch my very life and soul. अर्थात गुणराज खान द्वारा नंदन श्री कृष्ण को अपने प्राणनाथ के रूप में स्वीकार करने के कारण मैं उनके वंश के हाथ में बिक गया हूँ आई एम सोल्ड एट दैंड ऑफ द डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ गुणराज खान बिकॉज जस्ट ही एक्सेप्टेड द सन ऑफ नंद महाराज ब्रजेंद्रंदन साम सुंदर कृष्ण एट द वेरी लाइफ एंड सोल सो चैतन्य श्री चैतन्य द्वारा भागवत का सार संग्रह नाउ चैतन्य महाप्रभु एक्सेप्टेड द कंक्लूजन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम Now, just like you have lot and lots of milk, but what will you do? You will put some acid culture in the milk. It will become yogurt, and the yogurt is churned. It will become butter. When the butter is boiled uh, at steam flame, low flame, it will become ghee. So ghee is the essence of the milk. So similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu extracted the essence of entire Bhagavatam and stored in just one verse. What is that verse? आराध्यो भगवान व्रजे शतन तम वृंदवन रम्या काचिपासना व्रजवधू 
वर्गेण या कल्पिता श्रीमद्भागवत प्रमाण ममन प्रेमापुमर्थो महान श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभोर्मदिदम तत्रो न परिंग चैतन्य महाप्रभु दैट माई वर्षिबल ऑब्जेक्ट इज द सर ऑफ नंद महाराज ब्रजन नंदन श्याम सुंदर कृष्ण नॉट ओनली दैट I also worship his abode, Sri Vrindavan Dham, because this Vrindavan Dham is the opulence of Sri Krishna. It is his group vibe. So therefore, Vrindavan Dham is also very much worshipable for me. Hmm. Worship of only just bow to Sri Krishna, go past the gate, go past the Sarvot Krishna. There are many worshippers of Sri Krishna. Sudama Brahman also worships Sri Krishna. Uddhav also worships Sri Krishna. Akru also worships Sri Krishna. Arjun also worships Sri Krishna. Draupadi worships Sri Krishna, Vidushri worships Sri Krishna, Narayana worships Sri Krishna, but the worship of the gopis, the Brajan angels like Radha, Lita, Vishaka, Tarun, Vidaranga, Devi, Chambala, Dhanu, Deka, that worship is the topmost. Ah, uh, Shiva Bhagavad Granta is he Nirmal Shabda Pramana, even Prem ki Param Purushat. <laughs> if you want evidence, any topmost evidence is Bhagavad Gita's evidence. Someone will ask you. What is the evidence that one should follow Ekadashi vow? Then you quickly tell that uh, I would say Bhagavatam nine canto. Ambarish Maharaj observed Ekadashi, Nizal Ekadashi, and he was able to defeat Durvasa Muni. Immediately people will accept. Yes, yes, yes. Ekadashi is very authentic. Someone will tell you that what is the proof that Lord Narsingha Dev appeared in this world? Bhagavatam. Huh? Bhagavatam tells uh, about Narsingha Dev. Um, ओम नमो भगवते नरसिंहाय नमस्ते जस्ते जसे आविर आविर भव वजनख वजनष्ट्र कर्माशय नंदरंदय तमो ग्रस ग्रस ओम भूष्टा ओम श्रॉम यस नरसिंह देव इनकार्नेशन इज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन भागवतम सो आई सर्टेनली एक्सेप्ट श्रीमद भागवतम एज एन ऑथेंटिक स्क्रिप्चर सो भागवतम विल टेल द ट्रूथ Understand? So people will believe in nursing avatar because it is mentioned in Bhagavatam. So Bhagavatam is the topmost evidence. And Shrimad Bhagavatam is also called the Param Purushartha, topmost goal of human life. Prem is the topmost goal of human life. Huh? Who taught this? That is Mahaprabhu. Prema nama bhutartha shrona padakata kasa nam nam mahinna ko veta kasa brinda vana vipina mahamadari shut pravesha ko vajara tiyadham paramarsa jalakkara madari asima eka shaitan chandraha paramakarana ya sarva avish chakara People did not understand the meaning of the word prem but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu narrated to the world what is prem Any amount of obstacles may come, but that love which doesn't diminish that is called prem, and that is the goal of human life, ultimate goal of human life. Not just making money is the goal of human life. Developing Krishna prem is the goal of human life. This is the opinion of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Hmm. So we respect this particular siddhanta, this complete truth. We accept it, but we do not accept any other opinion. There may be so many, so many other opinions in this world. But we'll accept the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's opinion alone and alone. Aparahikim. Hmm. Hmm. So atay wa anya shastra ke alat mein yaha shakta nahi hai kyunki kewal isi bhagwat se hi sarvat siddhi hogi. So there is no need of discussing any other scriptures. Simply by reciting this bhagwatam, we will get the perfection. Hmm. So we'll stop here today. I am mentioning that we are stopping today at page number eight. Hmm. Page number eight. So um, this Bhagavatam is a very wonderful book. But time is nine o'clock, and there are some devotees who go on work. Yeah. Uh, so therefore, in China, China especially, Hong Kong also especially, and therefore, if I carry on further, then they may get delayed for their work, uh, and they may have some. You know, feel sleepy at workplace. And so, to avoid this possibility, I am ending my class here. Sorry, today I could not begin on time at seven o'clock because we are in Bengal and there was no connectivity for Jio telecom provider. So I borrowed Super Bendy Maharaj um, uh, Airtel Wi-Fi device and I connected because I asked Maharaj 
that you know the signal is not coming mara said tell my wi fi then you have to take this code the password and connect it airtel has very good connectivity ultimately only two big telecom players will remain in india apparently jio and um, airtel and idea is also maybe going out of business god knows what's going to happen but anyways now the 5g is going to come and uh, maybe connectivity will be better in remote areas i hope so so um, yes this is shrimad bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam is uh, is very important scripture and uh, when i went for the program bhagavatam uh, was spoken by one pandit ji uh, it was arranged by shripa shriman anirudh prabhu ji shripa anirudh prabhu ji uh, so there actually i met uh, anurag goel ji and her didi uh, her name was also vishakha didi and they re- requested me that why don't you speak shrimad bhagavatam online classes i said it's not actually a bad idea it's actually indeed a very good idea then i consulted shri padandi maharaj and he said all right sometimes i will also discuss shri bhagavatam once or twice a week i will also discuss bhagavatam so we are referring to this shri bhagavatam which is published by shri gurudev and this is downloadable for priyabhakti.com in hindi version english is not available yet and uh, other fifth to nine cantos are also published but pdf is not online yet um 10 canto is published separately that is also not online yet 11th and 12th canto is also published that is also not online yet but this first to fourth canto which will take us a significant time to cover so that is online and uh, that is very good sign uh, uh, so it is um, we are stopping at the page number 8 hari krishna vancha kalpataru veshya krupa sindhu veshya pita nam pavana jyo vishnu jyo namaha so tomorrow um, I don't know because Bhagavatam class uh, because tomorrow is we are traveling again. Um, if um, uh, I'll see the connectivity and uh, if we reach the station by eight o'clock, maybe if I get connectivity at Shalima station and it is quiet enough, I may give online class eight to nine tomorrow Bhagavatam. Huh? I hope so. Otherwise, uh, we'll uh, and then we'll be in the train the next day also. Huh? so because uh, we are in journey uh, so tomorrow uh, you know uh, 8 to 9 may be difficult but some other time in the day we can give the bhagavatam class and then go that is also fine i will discuss with you that evening so we let you know thank you so much one chakal patru vaksha krupa sindhu bhava japrita nam bhava jyo vaishna vidyo namo namo shrimad bhagavatam ki thank you so much hare krishna hare krishna शिशि गुरु गौरंग गंधर्व गिरीदारी राधा विनोद जी की जय ओम विष्णु पार स्तोत्र श्रीमद भक्ति विंद विष्णु डेटि गोस्वामी महाराज की जय ओम विष्णु पार स्तोत्र श्रीमद भक्ति विदेंद दंडी गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नित्य प्रविष्ट स्तोत्र शत शिशिमद भक्ति विदेंद नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट विष्णु पार स्तोत्र शत शिशि भक्ति विदेंद वामन गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट विष्णु पार स्तोत्र शत शिशि भक्ति विनय स्वामी महाराज की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट विष्णु पार स्तोत्र शत शिशि भक्ति प्रदान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट विष्णु पार स्तोत्र शत शिशि भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रोपार की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट परवार शिशि गौर किशोर दास बाबू जी महाराज की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट सिद्धानंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जय नितिले प्रविष्ट वैष्णव गोमा शिष्य जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय नितिले शिष्य ब्रज विधिभूषण प्रभु की जय शील विश्वनाथ चक्रवी ठाकुर की जय शील नरोत्तम श्रीवा श्याम राय की जय शील कृष्ण कवराज प्रभु की जय श्री रूप सनातन बात रघुनाथ जीव गोपाल बादास रघुनाथ सर गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय श्री दमोदर राय रमदारी श्री गौर प्रसाद विनी की जय नाम आचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की प्रेम से कौर श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री गौर भक्ति बंदी की जय शांतीप गोधुमदीप मध्यदीप कोलादीप ऋतुदीप जानुदीप मोत्रीप रुद्रदीप पद्मकाश नवदीप राम की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोपाल गोवर्धन वारिश भनत प्रकाश की जय श्री राधा कुंड शाम गंगा युवा तुलासी भक्ति देवी की जय श्रीमती वृंद देवी की पूर्णमासी योगी की जय श्री गोपीश्वर महादेव जय
भागवतम की जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा दंडवत प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू सो मच हरे